Partogram case series 2. This is the third video in our series on the partogram, and here we're going to be going through the second case example. So, we've got Miss Chloe Brown, who was admitted to labor ward at 4 p.m. with contractions. She's a prima gravida, and her membranes are still intact. So we ask a few questions, and find out that she has got 3 to 4 contractions every 10 minutes. She has had no bleeding, as we said her membranes are still intact, and she's feeling the baby moving well. So next we proceed to examining her. The fetal head is 3 fifths palpable abdominally, her cervix is 4 cm dilated, 1 cm long, soft, central, with a station of 0 minus 3, and the CTG is reassuring, marking 3 contractions in 10 minutes. So since she has regular contractions and is already 4 cm dilated, she has entered the active phase of the first stage of labor, and therefore we can start our partogram. So as per usual, we start off with her details. So we've got Chloe Brown, Gravida 1, Para 0, ID number 1, 2, 3, 4, date of admission, let's say the 9th of June 2024 at 4 p.m., and membranes have not ruptured yet. Next, we note down the fetal heart rate. Here we can put a slash, as we cannot comment on amniotic fluid as yet, since membranes are still intact, and we've got no molding. Now with a cross, we note down the cervical dilatation at 4 cm, and with a circle, the descent of the fetal head at 3, since it is 3 fifths palpable. We can then write out all of the corresponding times down here, and of course, draw out our alert line and action line. Again, starting at 4 cm dilated, covering 1 cm per hour, with the action line having the same gradient, but a 4 hour lag. Next up, we can draw the contractions here. So using boxes with diagonal lines to indicate contractions lasting 20 to 40 seconds, and three boxes to represent three contractions in 10 minutes. We haven't administered any oxytocin yet. We have given her some normal saline, and here we can indicate the maternal parameters with her heart rate and blood pressure here, then her temperature and the urine parameters. So the plan at this point would be to discuss pain relief, and in this case, Ms. Brown wants to opt for an epidural, and then we we'll reassess in four hours. Great, so four hours have passed, and we're due for another review. So this time the fetal head is two-fifths palpable, the cervix is five centimeters dilated, 0 0.5 centimeters long, soft, central, with a station of zero minus two, the CTG is reassuring, but contractions have decreased to 1 to 2 in 10. Okay, so back to our partogram. Let's mark these parameters down with the cervical dilatation here and fetal head descent here. So as we can see over here, we have skipped the alert line, but not the action line. So we should be amending our management plan to try to avoid reaching the action line. The combination of skipping the alert line and the decline in contractions leads us to create a plan focused on augmentation by starting Syntocin on and planning another review in two hours. It's 10 p.m. now and two hours have passed. Let's reassess. So we've got the fetal head still palpable at two fifths. The cervix is still 5 cm dilated, 0 0.5 cm long, soft, central, 0 minus 2. But now there are variable decelerations on the CTG, and contractions have picked up to 4 in 10. So back to our partogram once again. We can indicate the findings here. So as we can see, now we have also skipped the action line. So the fact that our examination findings are the same. We have skipped our action line, and there are also some signs of fetal distress. We really do need to take action now. And in this case, a plan was made to proceed with the cesarean section. And a healthy baby girl was delivered at 11 p.m. I hope you found all of these videos on the partogram helpful. If you are interested in study notes on this subject, go ahead and send me an email. Like and subscribe.